my gosh. Audio coming out the mic. Good. Yeah, it looks right. Cool. Um, Scotty's still alive. He's just dropped his pleco on the ground. Um, so that's pretty wild. <clears throat> and then I'm going to... How do I do that thing? Down here. Engage. Start a poll. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Which... Oh, I can only have four options, it says. So, in that case, we're going to change it up a little bit. All right. Yeah. Boom. We got a poll. Look at that. I'm a real YouTuber, yo. So, hey, uh, Lando, Tommy, Skeddy. I have um, a couple options also. We could do, like, I could try to do a living terrarium. Or I have a bunch of... The fuck are they? Oh, I like casually started putting trash in this bag on accident. That's hilarious. Um, that shows you what I think of this stuff. I have a bunch of like these various preserved moths, dead, dead ass colored mosses. Um, I don't know whether they're straight dyed or what. I have a whole, a whole bunch because uh, we got, like, I got, I got a ton of this stuff. No clue what I'm going to do with it. So, jars. I can, like, make weird mossy jars, um, I suppose. That's one thing I could do with it. <clears throat> I could make living terrariums out of these. Um, I don't have a ton of gravel, but I do have some Lika. I've got even like some orchid bark and some various soil, and I can get dirt from outside too. Uh, but I don't have a ton of little plants. You know, I've got some aquatic plants that I think might do okay. Well, most of the aquatic plants are going to get really pretty big. So, on an outside of moss. Um, you think Rickia? Oh, I don't, I don't actually have any Rickia. That's what Tommy does. Tommy does a lot of Rickia stuff. He was showing me at one point like three or four different growth phases that it has. Oh, that's literally you're who's talking. Cool. 
Hey, Nathan. What's up? All right, what am I looking for? I guess I gotta like go get moss, right? And stuff. Cause yeah, I have aqua soil too. So I have aqua soil, leek up, and dirt. Hey, Steven. Um, this only works on Wi Fi. Well, I don't have any, so I can't just like. I can get some at some point, but um, yeah, I, if if I don't have the plant, it doesn't matter whether it fa spreads faster than moss. You think I should do every single one except for the spice jar? I don't have enough time for that. A Mike B song to cover? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. At some point, see, uh, Tommy, I we got to... So I need to learn how to ship plants better. I'm going I'm to have a deal going with Mel Wool where we're going to share. She's going to send me Salvinia. Um, I don't remember which kind she had. Um, I think it's Calculata or whatever. But um, I'm going to send her red root floaters that are like, you guys should check these out. If I'm going to go that direction anyways. All right. A, red. And B, these ones over here are also mighty red. Where they're right under that light. So I'm pretty happy with that. You guys need to die. Get out of here, ram's horns. I'm trying to feed you to the assassin snails. Um, came over here for moss. Should probably also go outside and find some sticks, right? Little sticks, but I can't bring this because I don't have Wi-Fi out there, and this doesn't have data. I don't think camo works with data either. Yeah, that's a fucking mess right now. Good thing nothing lives in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go grab some moss. Sphagnum moss, maybe? And I'll look at what different plants I have that are small or will stay small. We can also look at these ones. We can see which ones of these, maybe. I could cut tiny. Do we think alternate Thera Renekii would do well in a jar? Or do you think that's an awful idea? Yeah. Yeah, Scotty is right here. Playing. Thank you, Zen, for the link and play the outro. I don't know what. Nutritious substrate. Okay. All right, so out of that, uh, what is our poll looking like right now? So if we're going to say, it, right now, Big Skull has the lead at 62%. Well, you guys are in luck. I actually have two Big Skull. So, that's... We can do multiple things with that. Um, 
Now I have Scotty's little background music, his, his outro stuck in my head. So should I just do straight um, substrate? Uh, you know, like this, like where it's all mulmy on the bottom. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about, Zen? I would like just tapped my, whoa, whoa. I'm not trying to do that. Where'd you go? What do you call a tank with no substrate? Um, I believe Scotty nailed it earlier when he called them bare ass. Mom bottoms. <laughs> Mom bottom is pretty accurate. Uh, that's also that's also the kind of tank I have right here. <laughs> I got a mom bottom tank. Look at all that fingers fingers width of mom at the front of my tank. Whatever, tis life. I need to soak this pot. Hey, pro tip. If you ever like, pro tip, if you ever neglect your plants like I do, and you notice that your soil is so dry that when you water it, the water kind of just runs past it. I'm My hand is in the way. The soil is so dry that when you water it, the water just runs past it, and it's not getting absorbed in. Uh, soak it. Go Sit it in a bucket or something and soak it all the way through. And you'll rehydrate the soil because what's happened is the soil has been dry for so long that it's become hydro hydrophobic. Uh, I don't actually. I'm pretty that I'm pretty bad about that. That's a skill that I need to work on. If I'm honest. Pre-wetted aqua soil there. But yeah, uh, we got a bunch of people in the chat now. Is this a PG stream? I don't think any of my... Well, like, I don't think parents should be... I, nobody should be watching my stream. Kids shouldn't be watching my stream. Parents shouldn't be watching my stream. People without kids shouldn't be watching my stream. Nope. Don't watch my streams. It's a bad idea. I'm a bad influence on you guys. You guys are bad influence on me. That's <laughs> that's my response to is this a PG stream, Skeddy? Parents can't guide this shit. <laughs> I said hi to like the first four people. Uh Vinoxky's here. Hey bro. And then. Oh, wait, wait. I have a tool. I have access to a tool. I don't have a tool. I didn't do shit with this tool. Uh, boom. Boom. Where's the make me log in button? Continue. Present. If you are a patron of Fish fam link or fish fam dot link. You can click buttons and go to the participants page. I believe that's the correct pr pr pronunciation. And then you can read them out in uh, what do you call it? Alphabetical order. Hey, thank you for coming in, Barbara Jackson, fish fam link, geek boy. Homer the Clown Trigger, that's Rainer, for, formerly Rainer uh, Trofer, the artist formerly known as. Uh, Jeff Kane, Jenna P. 2005, Jennifer Weaver, Linda Worth, My Fish Tanks Aquatics, a.k.a. Johnny No Shoes. 
turn those back on because I'm just fucking around talking. Uh, Nathan Hovey. Is it Hovey? I was hearing somebody else was saying it. Differently, and I can't remember how they were saying it now. You'll have to tell us during your pop up live stream later today. Oh, I'm so good at killing plants. Just ripping, ripping my plants apart. Uh, Skeddy Nona, Silver Creek's Wildlife, also known as Tom Tommy Nine Fingers, Stephen P. 2003 Aquatics, The Zen Ginger, also known as. Uh, what, what do I call her? Mandizo for Rizzo. That's, that's the big one. And Vinoxy. Vinoxky Fish Kodo. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for joining us. Where are we at? Messing with the cable again. Yeah. Fishy on. Fishing. I always say that one wrong, too. Everyone else says it wrong, and it, it, like, trains me to say it wrong. Your dogs can hear the stream. Yeah. So it's it's hovey. I heard I've heard a lot of people say it hovey, and I know that one's wrong. But somebody said it. I don't remember who it was. I don't know. Doesn't matter. So do you guys think like straight aqua soil? That's right, Steven. That is how they said it. <laughs> how did you how did who was it? <laughs> Wait, don't I'm not don't dox people. <laughs> I'm not trying asking you to call somebody out for like having weird pronunciation. Everybody has weird I pronounce weird shit weird all the time. Uh one of the ones I struggle with is writhing. Uh, I used to always pronounce it writhing, because that's how I read it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but I definitely heard it. Yeah, I'm not trying to out anybody, but yes, it was Jave, and I was like, what is that? Wait, hold on, have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Ugh. Let me go grab my razor. That might be a cool one to do with the little one, Barbara. That's a good idea. I like that vote. There you go. Boom. Right now the big skull is at 73%. The spice jar and little skull is at zero. We end, this, end the vote. How long have I been streaming? Not long, but... 20 minutes almost? Okay.
I'm not showing you guys this part because it's bad. Um, it's it, it would be me being a bad influence. I'm not using PPE and my razor is... I'm just holding it between my fingertips. Um, I'm not cutting with it. I'm scraping backwards to pull the uh, label off the bottom of this. Because while I can rub the bottom of this with like oil or goo gone later, I won't be able to really scrape at it at all after I've put plant in it. <laughs> what? Oh, because I'm fucking around with the laser, the razor. <laughs> you, if you don't have goo gone, you can use olive oil. I know you're talking about like, hey, shady gritty, welcome in. Sorry, I missed you. You weren't on the participants list. You probably are now. Um, I know you're trying to get me to say make an innuendo that has already been done. Whip made uh, Scotty say, "What was it? I should have rubbed. I should have squeezed one out before the stream, or something like that." It was a pretty good one. How much, how much soil? How far up the skull? The teeth? That's possibly too much. What are you guys thinking? Paper towel. I don't know. That's what I was asking. But I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Like, if it's the alternate Thera Renekii, shouldn't it just be fine? So right now it's to the bottom of the nose. Should it be like down to the teeth a little bit? But yes, that is a question, Stephen. I think I think it'll be fine for the alternate there, Renekii. And then I was gonna throw. I was thinking about doing. With this one, trying to do buse, and then I, I like Barbara's idea of filling this, just filling it with Sir Tang. Yeah, if you need a food safe one, you can use olive oil or canola oil or vegetable, like, Gugon is such, it's not a ripoff, but it's kind of a marketing, like, they were geniuses to make you think that that's what you needed to get sticky stuff off. Is like this citrus smelly, whatever, whatever. It's just a bunch of petroleum distillates. And it's not necessarily... So right now, it's at the top of the teeth. But... Let's go get water. Because I only have a mister right now. I mean, I've got my watering can is full of, I think, aquarium water, but. Ugh. Open.
probably sounds like I'm taking a piss. Because I didn't bring a camera with me. I'm taking an electric piss. If you guys can hear the pump at all. Like I'm next to it. section of the stream. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was fun for you. I hope it's equally fun when I fumble around with my... Let me... That. All of those are going to be in the room. Okay. So you said really low KH water. Should I add? Steven said really low KH water. Should I add GH? I'm going to add all in one. Poor Jeff is going to have to pull over. <laughs> Soothing sounds of being in a jar. <laughs> okay, so should I use GHKH then? If it's gonna, if it's not gonna increase because it's gonna be pretty closely sealed, and I'm only gonna top it up with RO or distilled. Thoughts. I fill up jugs. My tap water's uh, too ba too close to RO, and it pulls copper out of the... It pulls all sorts of shit. When I check it, there's different metals in it every single time. Um, <laughs> I bought one of those kits. I'm out of them right now, but I bought one of those kits where you get the strips for like to test your well water and stuff like that, and it's it's pulling something else out of the water between... Because there's only PVC pipes that I can find in the apartment, but you know what it is. What bingo points do you need, Geek Boy? You're a pal. I've said fuck you to everyone else, but... But I buy, um... I buy RO, basically. Hey, Adele. The five-gallon jug water is um, RO, and I also have sitting over here. I have a water distiller and a jug. Oh, my, my hand is all shaky. There we go. I don't know, man. Is Kelly here? I'll say, if Kelly's not here and you guys don't tell her, uh, bare bottom tank. That's what they're called. They're called bare bottom tanks. In behind, back here, I've got a bare bottom tank with a mister in it. And it's bare bottom because reasons. Uh, I want it to be really easy to clean. And uh, mom. <laughs> mom bottom tank. That's also what they're called. There you go, Jenna. Is that what you want? As long as, as, long as you can beat... Because it takes fucking forever. Uh... 
Rainer, it takes it takes forever to do it, and I'm not convinced that it's actually cheaper than going to buy the water at the grocery store that is RO. It like takes like five hours sometimes for one gallon of water. And I have and and it sometimes it trips the breaker if I'm like not thinking and I plug it into the wrong spot. I don't know, it's a pain in the ass. Um, I, I rarely use it. It was kind of a waste of money. It worked like it wasn't that bad at the old apartment, but I, I don't have a spot where it makes sense at this apartment and everywhere I plug it in. If I like run the microwave or I have a heater plugged in. Uh, Scotty did know that one. He said flagfish are algae eaters, which is true. I have a flagfish too. Flagfish are algae eaters. Sorry, I'm just spacing out looking at plants. I definitely wouldn't use them in a, in a bare bottom. That's that's the real question. <laughs> I, wait, hold on. Uh, I might start answering your guys' questions if you guys answer mine. Which should I use in the terrarium? GH or GHKH? Hey, Melvin. Holding you hostage. I'll fill your bingo cards if... Give me advice. <laughs> GH cage. There we go. Boom. See, Raynard. Oh, wait, Raynard, do you have a bingo card yet? Somebody drop the link for Raynard to get a bingo card. Come on, make yourself useful, mods. Jesus Christ. You're so selfish. You understand? You're leaving Raynard over here in the dust. We've been filling our bingo cards over here, having a good old time. What the fuck? Drop the link for Raynard. I'm gonna overdo it. There's a lid for this. Hmm. I had it at one point. There's the lid. Way over here. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have a magnetic stirrer that fits this. <laughs> that would be pretty dope. It'll just react to the aqua soil. But the CO2 won't go away. Because the lid will be closed, right, Steven? Did we just game the system? Yeah, I got a lid, I mean. I might as well, right? And then if I need to add water. It's not perfectly airtight. There's no gasket. I would, just to, just to tick Tommy off, um, Rainer Pro channel link. Thank you. That wasn't the link I meant, but thank you, Tommy. Good job.
It, I would just to take Tommy off. I would use. I got a bag of uh, Miracle Grow, but it would turn everything blue in there, and that's no good. <laughs> I don't know why they got to put blue dye in everything. Like it, it's marketability. It's like uh, Mountain Dew, where they use like yellow number nine, even though they know it's bad for us. probably too much water but it's okay we'll figure it out lost this use that to pull water out boom money Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> don't trigger me, bro. That's my thought: is it'll just boost growth, right? Hopefully, and if not, it'll just escape out the not sealed lid. Holy, uh, oh, I forgot that I put cocoa coir in there. I thought all the cocoa coir was roots for a second. <laughs> this is still pretty rooty, but for what? I put this in there a week ago, two weeks ago? All right.
peut être switch jusqu'à... Oh, you guys want to see something cool? There might be someone... I was looking on these ones, but I didn't see any. I think that one might be dying. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm pointing at anyways, because there's behind the jar. That one might be dying, but... Where'd it go? This one has new baby leaves on it. And I swear to God, I saw ones on a different. Oh, this one. Look at that tiny little leaf. Focus. Baby, 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 abuse leaf. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. Thought you guys would like that. Maybe that's the one that I'll put in. Hey, Bipolar, welcome in. Usually like a, a million springtails up here. I'm gonna plant back in. I didn't mean to dig it out. I can't see shit though. <laughs> I don't know where they're at. Hmm. They must be hiding. I changed the sponges out up there, so there's less water up there than there used to be, and I've been thinking about adjusting the flow back here. But every time I do that, I fuck shit up, and sometimes you get uh, flooding or dripping from, like, there's an overflow cutout in the back. It goes like this. Might be able to see it there. Yeah. And so then it drips and it usually falls in the tank, but it doesn't always. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So Yeah, I haven't fixed that yet. The other place that I have springtails is Instead of my Grindle worm culture. Here. You want to see them? Here. They're right here. Underneath of. Yeah. You see those guys running around? Those are springtails. So you think I should put a springtail in the tank? There's hella where you really see the springtails is underneath the feeding thing. They run around on top of where the grindle worms are. Wormy wormies. Speaking of, let's feed. And I only feed my Grindle worms the best.
Yeah, I don't have a big enough setup for isopods right now. I I think they call those ass eaters. That's what that's what I was taught in fish keeping school. Was that it's 2024, every fish eats ass or something like that? Possibly, Jeff. They, I, they're they're leading, but I might. Uh, you might be right, Zen. It might be a good idea to do have a bigger tweezers. There they are. Ooh, curved, curved tweezities. Don't forget, in memory of of Myrtle, to always twizzle your twazzles. And if you haven't tweezled your twizzle lately, you better get on twazzling. See, I'm just going to put the one plant in there because I think that'll look dope. Especially if it really fills it out. Oh, I'm not even pointing the thing at it. I, I showed you guys tweezling with my other camera, but... I didn't... You guys weren't watching while I did the twizzle dizzle and twazzle dozzle. All right. So Barbara said to fill this one with this washer tank. So I'm imagining you want that full of water. Right? And then... Swiss washer tang? I lost the fucking little blue tip on my... Coral feeder baster. So it... Like, drips now. Which is really frustrating. Do you think I can, like, nutrient burn Swiss washer tang? Or do you think I can... Add... Like... Another pump of furts straight to this little jar without problems. I probably could have used the bigger turkey baster, but that one drips even more. All right. We will add more water if we need it. But I'm suspecting that will overflow as is. Um, possibly. But you know what? They've been sitting empty. <laughs> These ones are mine. I mean, since washer tank don't have roots, from what I'm aware, they might have, uh, like, some sort of, like, I don't know, dude. They're a fern. But, <laughs> oh shit, she's watching. <laughs> she's here. <laughs> I gotta end this stream, guys. <laughs> the celery father is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of the alien ones somewhere, too, but I'm not going to put any plants in that. All 
All right. Whoa. One of these days I'm going to straight smash that lid, but it's okay because I have another two that I'm not using. Actually, hold on. You guys can watch while I do this. You might like to see this jar right now. I've moved the logs around a little bit and they look really, like, really cool right now. Where? Where? Where in the frig did I put it? Where is it? This. Boom. The alien one had vodka in it, past tense. It's empty. Yeah. All right. So this washer tank looks really cool up here. I'm really impressed with how it turns out when it's like, oh, fucking dropped it. I'm not impressed with how the uh... I'm not impressed with how the duckweed and stuff just survives in this mist environment. Even way the fuck up there. Not super stoked with that turn of events. Pretty shit at this, to be honest. I'm harvesting this washer tank out of the jar too fast. <laughs> oh, maybe it does. Okay, yo, check this out. Fuck. Don't set your tweezers on things that you don't want to tip over, folks. Here's your thing. Check this out. This dishwasher tank has little, like, it was stuck flat to the wood. Stop autofocusing so far away. Can you see those little, like, stabby bits on the back side of it? That's the side that was facing into the wood, and it was grabbing on there. So maybe it does kind of have roots. Maybe it does have roots. Maybe I am the fool. All right. I'm just going to grab it with my fingers. Rip a chunk off of the bottom there. Ow, fuck. 
I always forget how fucking hot that is when it comes out. <clears throat> or like, I don't know, maybe it fucking shocks you. Oop, sorry, Feta. Didn't mean to fuck with you there. That's the one thing I don't like about those misters, is they get really fucking hot. Good mosses going out here, too. Okay. So that should be enough for uh, now. For the little skull jar, I grabbed a handful that I gotta now tweeze into there. We could stick sphagnum on top if we wanted to really get fancy with it. No, Shady Greedy, the blue tip is in the bottom of this box down there. And I gotta, I need to empty this box and turn it into a bin anyways and organize it. That's like a project that I've just been sitting on and not doing because I'm stupid. So these spots are not just the swastika. That's something else entirely. We can fuck off. That's a moss. Ooh. Okay. I think that's mostly Siswasser tank in there now. Those ones I'm gonna put probably on probably on that piece of wood. It's a good idea. For them because they've got multiple kinds of moss on them. There might be one other moss in here. I think I'm gonna try and do just just the Siswasser thing. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the little cap things that came with these ones either, but yeah, when it hits your finger, that that's what really surprises me. Alright. What am I thinking of? Tweezers. Twizzles. There we go. The little ones. These are a little... I need to get better tweezers. These are a little too, like, sharp. No. Don't put the fucking duckweed in there. I'm going to twizzle those out, too. Don't forget to twizzle your plants. Or else you might put... You might inadvertently duckweed or red root floater your new terrarium. It's got moss in it too. I've already duckweeded it. No. No. All right. I guess I better stir this around again and see if any more pops up. What are you? A 
just lightly colored. All right. Yeah, I have a couple in my list that were recommended to me. Fuck, you know, I might be putting snails in with this. I think there's baby snails on this. That's... Well, we, uh, let's see. We'll see. Will the snails die? Will they eat all this dishwasher tang? Will they become massive in this tiny little skull? All right. Let's add just a touch more water to this one. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to kill them by adding a little bit of fertilizer and then more water. I don't want the water to touch the cork. That looks pretty dope. Thank you for the idea, Barbara Jackson. Pretty sure that's who it was. Yeah, that's super cool. Clink-a-dank, cling-lang. Cool. The nice thing about these projects is that they are, like, functionally zero. I mean, not zero. Well, I didn't tell you guys this one. Uh, I did, like, the order online thing for Petco and got this and a couple tanks and some cat litter um, and some other stuff. And then I bought something. And I think they just didn't ring me out as picking this stuff up when I went to pick it up and I because because I bought something else. I think they just didn't close out that other order or something because they refunded me after a couple days. Um so, and I'm not really in a position where I'm gonna argue on that sort of situation, you know? Um uh, judge me if you want. So yeah, literally these projects are zero cost to me. I've already already spent or like I got what I wanted out of all of these plants so far pretty much and they're or, and or they were functionally free for me like this is washer thing didn't cost me anything um and I don't mean because I propagated it I mean Ian gave the, that to me I've never paid for this washer tank I did pay for the Alton and Thera Renekii but this is a propagation of that that like I just I kept the main plant in there and I cut a different chunk off and stuck it in that jar um, and then what we were going to try in this one, buse or a stem plant. Yes, twizzle the twazzle.
ramble to damble. All right. I feel like the crypts that I have will all get too big. Um, I don't know. Val could be kind of fun, but I feel like that might get giant. It might do just just stay little. Most of the stems are going to get giant. Lunch is over. Back to the grindstone. Good luck, geek. Hopefully you don't have too many meetings today. We're going to do this plant, because I don't know what it is. It's never done particularly well for me. Uh, it's in... It's been in the carnivorous plant tank, which doesn't have any nutrients in it. So this is going to be a drastic change for it. But we're just going to, we're just going to put this in there. We're going to see what happens. Because, uh, yeah, first off, nobody else has given me any input. So that's cool. Uh, no, That's not like judgment. I just like... I don't have any other ideas. Let's do it. Um, this plant has been in the carnivorous plant on the um, Aldravonda vesiculosa side for a hot minute. Um, that's, yeah, I don't know if it's from that. Like, I've put different seeds in that, but it doesn't look like a. Uh, it's not a sundew. I've put a bunch of different plants in there over the, like, over time. I've, I've stuck different stuff in there on the other side, different, like, crypts and things like that. It could be a crypt. It could be one of the swords. Um, whether it was, like, a rotted sword that I pulled out or something, and maybe I was like, yeah, swords are supposed to grow immersed. Let's fucking put this little tiny, let's put a giant sword in this little tiny tank. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking remember what it is. Got no clue. Uh, but it's not doing great. It's not doing awful. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's Dwarf Sage. I don't think I've ever bought or owned that. It's possible somebody gave it to me. Let's put a little water in there. There's the jar.
Yeah, Kelly. What's this tiny little plant? Identify this tiny plant based off of no information. I don't know what it is. I don't know <laughs> whether it's a sword. No, you can't put away groceries. On demand plant plant identify. Go. I know you're not a botanist. Should do the big tweezers probably. I don't think my hand will fit in the jar with the little tweezers. Tiny plant. We'll either find out or we won't, right? Maybe I should go grab, yeah, let's go grab that other jar really quick and put it back up here. Another plant that would go good in this, uh, in this little skull jar would be the Aldravonda vesiculosa, because that kind of just grows, it's like hornwort, it kind of just grows to fill its space. It's an aquatic. It's... So the thing is, I've had a number of different, like, volunteer plants that came out of the original, like, sphagnum moss and stuff, and then I've also put... Because when I tore this tank down, I pulled a few different plants out and I put them in different places and I might have put one on that side it's hard I don't fucking remember I just kind of just move shit around sometimes and I don't I don't remember what that tiny little plant was it's never done well for me though like unless it was one of the original swords from this tank in which case which doesn't seem right it seems smaller than what that should be as far as rootstock and everything But it's been in really low nutrient water for a long time, so we'll see what it does when I stick it straight into the aqua soil there. That'll be fun. Um, yeah. have the special water for a reason.
So I just went outside and grabbed a stick. one piece of moss in there. So we're gonna see how long it takes that to grow a bunch of moss and become a cool little stick, cool little tiny twig. Um, what time is it? 12.23, we got time. But you guys are jealous of that. Get yourself a get yourself a bottle screw on screw on bottle funnel. That's a that's the my pro tip of the day, my real pro tip. Forget to water your plant by soaking it on occasion when you fuck up. Don't forget to soak your plant. Forget that tip. Real pro tip. Get yourself a bottle funnel for those times you need I wonder if it'll fit both of these. Nah, this one's too big. Still a good size for it. I'll just have to hold it. Kind of just, well, there's only a little left in this. All right. All right. So which which weed should go in which plant this is a uh, high growth polysperma sunset and this is Ludwigia super red or something like that except it's not very super red geek boy you know the real solution to that get yourself a um so like build print it wide and then set up some sort of, especially if this is for dry goods, set up some sort of silicone insert where, <laughs> make it big and then put a silicone insert in, all right? Sounds, sound good? Polysperma needs the biggest one? Well, which one's bigger? Break some. Need the straight tweezers.
You think this one's bigger? All right. So Ludwigia going in there. That was close. And then the polysperma sunset. Don't forget to twizzle your swazzles. That's the twazzling code. Twizzle for Myrtle. <clears throat> oh. Wait, I gotta put the plants back on the little stands. Look, those reeds. Not getting them back. guys go wait I could also like so they're gonna get light from these gro this grow light that I got here that is aimed on these Yeah, I don't know. That's where we're at. That's like a resurrection jar sort of thing that I never did. It's just got a bunch of fucking poison in it, probably. I'm tired. I've got to go to work in uh, 40 minutes. Yeah, me too, Zen. Maybe I should go make some coffee. Honey, where is my French press? Funny thing about it is I, I'm definitely the one that put it away. I know it's somewhere weird because it's too tall for most of the cabinets. 
which means I had to have put it somewhere bizarre. Hmm. Now I feel extra insane. Well, that's bizarre, and it's the world we live in. That does make me feel better. Uh, you and Nathan are going to keep me through work today. Yeah, I can't find, I wouldn't be able to find that either. I can't find my uh, French press, I can't find my pour over thing. I don't know where shit is. I think I spent $10 on Amazon and I got a chesty and some other attachments and I was I was actually pretty impressed with that. Like it's not the best chesty as you've witnessed. It's not tight enough. I don't know if your frame is as little as mine is. I'm a skinny boy. But that's the yeah, that's the the backpack mount is a better more stable system for sure. Oh, wait. Apparently it was... It caught a bunch of this. Oh, no, it didn't. Never mind. It wasn't recording. It's just, like, still... Bizarre.
So I think what I'm going to end up doing with this is um, I'm probably going to cut out all the night parts because they're not very informative. And also probably cut, I'm going to show you guys the, um, and your helmet mount broke. That sucks. But I think I'm going to only do these, seg I'm going to stitch together just these segments where there's no fog for the most part. I'm not going to have the boring fog parts. Sometimes in the you can see the cats walk in and out. Yeah. But those fog parts are only or the not fog parts are only like they're only so long. The, the unfoggy parts. Yeah, did you guys see me spill there? I got so many. I'm, I should do that a video of that too, just the bloopers. The fish is going to jump at some point here. Yeah, it's hard. I'll probably have to make multiple videos because I'm. But it, if I want to show like a grow time lapse, I'm gonna have to show like the plants growing, and I'm gonna want to cut out a lot of the boring stuff so you can actually so that it's faster. And a lot of the parts where you can't see anything. Because I've got, oh, I'm not, hold on, stop screen, present, share screen, window, this thing. So far, this is what I have is from the 15th, but like some of these like days, it just wasn't recording. And then some of these days, camo was not connected for chunks of it. Me, like, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, uh, but it is what it is. And I've got like four or five recordings of each. Some of them I only have two. Yeah, I mean, it's already time-lapsed. I could, like, we could do all sorts of things. That would be good for, like, the nighttime one, the nighttime chunks. You could do, um... Oh, I'm, I'm literally watching a video now, and you guys aren't seeing it, because I would need to present that. But also, I need to make sure there's no times either, like, invisible in the reflection, walking around naked or something, people could freeze frame. You never know, man.
there's going to be a lot of editing, but, you know, it should be worth it, right? I got a bunch of spider plants for free on Craigslist the other day. On Monday morning, I went out and did that. So now I've got... Spider plants. Spider plant and the onion plant. A spider plant and a filter back there. Just plugged it in for what? Got variegated and non variegated. I think that's non variegated back there. Spider plant in the filter. So we'll see how that does. As an alternative to the pothos. Don't pay any attention to Zenger. Yeah, she doesn't have any good tips. But for real, if you've ever caught June's reflection, um, We don't have any we don't have any screenshots, don't worry. They they definitely don't exist. And I'm not lying when I say that. I like I don't believe that there's any <laughs> I'm just trying to say it as suspiciously as possible. Oh no, I used all my jars and I didn't put any fucking fake like orchid bark or anything. I didn't make a traditional terrarium, I just did aqua soil and all of them. Whoops. <laughs> Bizarre. I wonder what we shall do. 12.45? I only have five minutes left before I have to start getting ready for work. Oh, that was close. I assumed that the heavy side of this uh, little... I've got like a big styrofoam thing and there's six spots. Hey, Eric. Hope you're doing well. And I picked it up from the bottom and this one was on the one side and it tipped it.
Where's that handy dandy funnel funnel when I need it? I don't currently have any plants that I believe would go well in this. So, I'm not going to do anything with it. I did some semi-aesthetic looking rocks, a little bit of potting soil, some orchid bark. We're going to let that sit. That's going to be, I'm not going to let it sit there. I'm going to find a spot to hang it uh, where I'm not going to smack my head on it and break it like I did some other ones of these. But, yeah. I might... Put a plant in this someday. Um, I don't currently have a plant that I believe is ideal for that. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you know what else I can show you before I leave? Tuck that there. Remember those seedlings, the seeds that I was starting? These ones that are popping out are the Swiss chard. That will do it for me today. Um, just want to thank you guys again. Of course, I'm not logged in anymore. We got George Aquaballs, Barbara Jackson, Big Easy Support Group, Mark. I didn't see you today. Sorry, Big Easy. Uh, Celery Father, Jordan. Collaboration of Curiosities, Adele. L Fish Tanks, Eric Wyrock, Fish Fam Link, Fishin Tank Ticks, Geek Boy, Homer the Clown Trigger. I'm just Legacy. Thanks for coming in, Melvin. 
Jeff Kane, Jenna P. 2005, Jennifer Weaver, JT Keeping Fish. I didn't see you either, Jack. Sorry for missing you. Kelly Foreman, myself, uh, Linda Worth, Liquid Zoo OnlyFans. I may or may not have seen Matt in here. Thank you for coming in. My Fish Tanks Aquatics, John. Uh, Nathan Hovey, Scotty the Fish Freak, Sketty Nona, Shady Greedy, Silver Creeks Wildlife, Stephen P. 2003, The Bipolar Fish Keeper, The Zen Ginger, and Vinoxky. Thank you all for coming in today. That is going to do it as far as my stream. But you guys all know where to find the next stream where is it live Garcia's live Jeff Pelham is live it's two places you guys could go to thank you for hanging out so long farewell of Virashen good night